Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out N Team's newest title track. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Sammy Daddy. We're gonna do the music video and then the dance practice. Just to let you guys know that I did react to and Howling and Audition. All episodes are already there. So if you guys are interested in that, I finally watched it. Um, I'm already caught up. I got to know them more. I got to know their growth more. It's insane. Oh my God. Like from there, to uh to like the stuff that i've been seeing from them oh my god the growth is immaculate it's insane so it was great that i saw it now i have an even better appreciation for and team and their skills it's insane the growth i'm also planning to do the uh the documentary i was gonna do it back in april after i did the end audition but I booked a movie, so I was away for a while, but I do plan on doing that still. It just might take a while because of the catch up that I'm doing with all the count comebacks that I missed. All right, semi daddy, we're gonna start with the music video. Let's get to it. Oh, wow. They're so beautiful. Oh my God. It's like haunting music. That's like a burial. Oh, oh! Ah! The piano! Oh my god, that's beautiful! Oh, what the hell? Oh, the Coco. Yes! Okay, let's pay attention. Beautiful. Oh my god. This is giving like 2521 kind of color grading. Oh wow. This build up is good. Nice vocal. Woo! I'm gonna have so much fun on the dance practice. Woo! That hits. Beautiful! Yo, that was a solid vocal in. Oh my god. Hey. They look so good. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh! Sir! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god, he's blonde. Was he always blonde in this video? I just noticed. The vocals are giving. Beautiful. That drop. Oh! It's so beautiful! Let's go! Oh my god, that's so pretty! Oh my god, I'm speechless. The art direction of this music video is immaculate. It's so good. Wow, what is that? An old picture of them? I'm really bad with storylines, so please let me know how it's going. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Oh my god! Yo, don't fight. They keep fighting, actually. There was another video where they were fighting, right? No. Oh, no, that was... A, that was an hyphen one. <laughs> the trailer. My God, Maki. Wow. 
well. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I love it. Sammy Daddy. <sighs> okay. Blew out my mic. Who <laughs> in? <laughs> oh, the webtoon. Oh my god. Duh. That promo though. Um, oh my god. Okay, I'm usually like, as you guys know already by this point, like I'm, I'm a hit and miss with like their title tracks. Like it's some I really, really love and some I'm like, I'm okay with, you know, um, sonically. Uh, like for example, Dropkick, loved it, but their dancing is always fucking amazing, right? Um, so I can't wait to see the dance practice in a bit, but we're gonna go through the music video again and just do some pausing. But I like this one. I can see myself listening to this on the daily. It has a great melody. It has a beautiful melody to it. Um, it does remind me of something that we do get in Japanese comebacks for like from like K-pop groups. And I've always really liked those. I've always really liked, for example, like Seventeen, uh, Fallen Flower, you know, like the Japanese version. Um, some of, like, uh, when BTS has, like, Japanese songs, it's always so fucking beautiful, and, like, it just reminds me, this just reminds me of those, the way how I feel when I listen to those, is just so emotional with their voices, and then couple it with amazing, beautiful choreography, you know? Beautiful execution. Let's go through the, the music video again. Oh my god, this was perfect. But like storyline wise, I'm not even gonna try this time because I always suck. <laughs> um, like it's never, <laughs> it's never right. Um, but oh my god, I just need to like. Uh, cool. First of all, it took me a while to uh to to notice that like, Taki was blonde. <laughs> but I wanted to point out Maki's side profile. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. You know, like it's actually a whiplash from uh watching and audition you know he was so baby there and then here it's like yo dude i want to be like you when i grow up <laughs> the glow up is insane like he was like this cute kid and then like look at him oh so good so beautiful like what is this with like the the burial. Oh my god. Yeah. This intro with the piano is so good. Like, ah, I can already hear that in like award shows and stuff. It's emotional. It reminds you of uh, an OST, actually. That's just beautiful. Uh, that is... I, I guess I'll dissect it in the dance practice. But like, that's... That's so unexpected so earlier on. Uh, in the choreo. Giri. This visual after visual. Love the lines. Yeah, this whole, um, the color grading for this is just so beautiful. Um, the drama aspect. Um, it does remind me of uh, 2521. I did react to that on Patreon too. Um, it has that kind of emotion. If you guys have watched 2521, you guys will know what I mean. There's that emotional factor to this kind of lighting and color grading. It just works so well. And I love how they incorporated it in this music video. The vocals too is like so peaceful to listen to. That was powerful. No falsetto shifts. Yeah. A uh, lick. I love that bow. That turn into this bow. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so grand. This though. God, later with K. Ah! <laughs> He's so incredible. Like the lines and this kick. Oh my god. Okay, I'll reserve it for the dance practice. Beautiful. Also, oh my god, Nicholas's face? So angular. It's so good. <laughs> so good! Hey. So who are they? Is it them? 
inside those things, like for real, or do they have? Do we have stunts? Stunt people. I like the beat. They're all just so gorgeous. This part. Oh my god. The soul. It's beautifully executed. Oh! Look at that line. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, with a freaking leg. Damn, and at the back. I would like to see this in an award show setting. My god, that was insane. The vocal's really good. That kick! <laughs> That's when I fucking went bananas. <laughs> good. That kick into this though. Like, look at his line. Like, that freaking. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Ah! <laughs> okay. I don't know if they're gonna put this in the actual choreo, but like. You see here, he does a ballet technique for spinning, for fast turns. So when you do fast turns in ballet, like when you do pirouettes and stuff, you do this thing called spotting. And so that's like looking at, so looking at a spot in front of you. And as you turn, your head stays as much as it can before you... And then your body's turning away, but your face stays at that spot. And then when you can't hold it anymore, you whip your head and then go back into that spot that's called spotting it prevents you from getting dizzy um and keeps you balanced as well for those fast long turns and he does it here um you can see it in like the way here look when he turns look his body is already going but like his head is not you know and then it goes and the whiplashes he's a, he's already looking at the same spot boom right but his body's still away right so, and then he does this several times. Wow, beautiful. And then this one, going into this beautiful line. So is he like learning more contemporary stuff? Is that what he's doing now? Because I love when artists, um, they're already so good at a certain genre. And then because it's their craft, for example, they just try other genres. You know, in, in some girl groups, for example, we get girls who can really dance and then they... Like, you know, for example, Red uh, Red Velvet, um, Irene and Solgi, um, they learned whacking and voguing, right? It took them, I, I, from what I remember, this was a while ago, it, I, from what I remember, it took them six months to perfect it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I love it when artists do that. So, like, if, if you know, we already know that Kay is an amazing dancer, but he, if he's, like, really enhancing his contemporary skills, his ballet skills, huge kudos if that's the case. Because these lines are like beautiful. And because his, his legs, his arms are, and his body so long, the elongatedness is just so statuesque. With that lighting too over there is just beautiful. Oh my God, it's art. Look, nice. My God. What are they fighting about? I'm guessing, okay, if I'm gonna guess about the storyline, it's like a story of friendship. You know, it's friendships are not always rose petals. You know, it's not always beautiful, right? Yeah, you, we know that like there are some turbulence in, in certain friendships. Sometimes you overcome it, sometimes you don't. All the time you make memories, and sometimes they are bad memories, sometimes they're good. Um, so I feel like that's what it is about. Let me know if that's even remotely close. Because I'm getting, like, references of, like, them fighting and some beautiful moments, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's just beautiful, like, that set design. This, oh my god, with, like, the sakura, with the chair blossom, with the lighting. Oh my god, it's beautiful. If they have, like, a performance video in this, oh, I would love that. Nice harmony there. It's such a also like a interesting 
direction for the color grading because in these certain sections you have cool tones and then you have warm tones. In the cool tones, it's like darker, more mysterious, a little bit more dramatic, um, and they fight and stuff. And then in the warmer colors, it's like vibrant and triumphant. Um, so it's kind of like a back and forth kind of memory, I feel like. Yeah, that's like old memory and I think that was the Sakura stuff. No? Oh no. It's like, this is what our friendship looked like. Oh my god. But it must have been so fun to shoot. Wow. I love that hair on Maki. Like that ombre. So good. It's beautiful. Let's go to the dance practice. And team dance practices always go hard. Is this new? Is this a new place at Hybe? Is it remodeled? I've never seen that curved... This thing? Ceiling. I think these are all mirrors because you have blinds. So that makes, that makes sense when, um, you know, you have mirrors and then they they thought about that like they're going to be filming a lot of content there so they need to be able to close down the mirrors but i've never seen this dance practice studio before correct me if i'm wrong if i have seen it it looks new or maybe it's like another one that we've already seen before but it's just like turned around whoa ooh nice i like how that was um oh my god I like how that was like uneven. It was almost abstract. Yeah. Wow, that getting down is so synchronized. Hey, look at that line, Joe. Ooh, ooh. It was so sharp. Oh my god. Oh. Beautiful. Ah, the bell. Hey, beautiful. Oh my god. The angles. Oh my god, it's so synchronized. Yeah. At least they have a breath here. You know. Cause it's it's like hardcore yo. Hey, like the hips there. Nice, nice imagery. Wow! Oh, so dramatic. I love it. Ooh, that's different. Beautiful. Hey, let's get it. Oh, that's the same as earlier, but like they were moving forward. Oh my god, he does do it here in National Choreo. That's insane. Beautiful. That's the chorus. Are you kidding me? That's so hard. Ah, uh, that's rain! The vocals are really good. Oh wow. Yo! Woo! 
I can't believe that's a chorus. Like, you go down like that and synchronize it. Hey. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's hard. Ah. Uh, um. Okay, it's not the most. It's not their most difficult choreo because they definitely have had more complex choreographies. But it's still hard. Um, it's a stamina thing here too because um, you're going up and down so many times, and the hard thing about that is like, yes, you can go up and down so many times, but it's the control. Right? Getting it the same level every single time, that would make it more difficult because you need to pay attention more. You need to a lot more energy when you're doing more control. Um, I always use this analogy where when you're doing a push up, of course you can do fast push ups. But when you do it slowly, up and then down, slowly, at, like feeling every single muscle tissue, <laughs> you know, it's more difficult. Right? So it's the same idea here when you're like doing different levels um, and synchronizing it all throughout thr throughout the group. I like this beginning. It's not your conventional laying down because it, they're all in different directions, um, but still making it um, not messy. I like how he gets up. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that really appreciates these kind of things. I don't know about you guys. Um, but like simple things like that really matters to me because it really shows off the lines of your of your body, the dancing aspect. <laughs> You're not just getting up because anyone could get up. But it's like, how do you make that get up impactful? How do you make it different? How do you make it beautiful? And like that slight head, you know, when he gets up and like it's just a little kind of tossed back ads right it's it's beautiful that spin okay wait um okay so yeah he's all it's already a sequence it doesn't stop when he like sits up because he's preparing for that jump that we're gonna get smart koyo like that's also really cool when they go up like that it's all different too. It's I really like the fact that it's not just all hands. Like you also get feet up. Him and him. I I can't see who those are. Um, but it's it's nice. It's it makes it different. Right? I don't think I've ever seen that. It's usually hands like that, and you know, it's pretty and everything, but it's so cool when you see something different. Um, when it's feet. This one. Smooth, smooth. Like Maki goes over. I'm like gonna slow down, slow this down. Boom, and it's just so beautiful. Like with you know the opening up, and then you have okay. So Joe is the one holding his feet, Maki's foot. So that he can kind of lean over. This would actually be really cool to see on the side. You'll we'll probably see it on like stage performances. Um, which I'll react to on my Patreon. Because those get blocked like music show stages. Um, we'll probably see that more to the side. And I just want to see. Oh he goes really far. That's why he needs that support. Yeah he leans really far forward. And then. Oh my god. Like I'm like going like this like I can see. <laughs> Um, and then <laughs> toss over and then Joe gets up. Oh my god. That is Joe, right? That's beautiful. Wow. And then they slide together closer and then goes into this next imagery. It's not just like a two-person effort. It's a whole group. It's a whole sequence. Boom. And it's so seamless. It's beautiful. And then when they get up on the sides, they're leaning on each other's back. Which is probably um, referencing the storyline of 
the song. You know, they're leaning back on each other. They're leaning on each other. Um, and that's cool. That's a balanced thing again. You know, like you can't like one person can't be pushing more than the other because otherwise, you know, you'll push the other guy and you'll like topple over. So both of you have this need to have the same energy. So uh, to lean against each other so that you can get up properly together and at the same time, too. Beautiful. So delicate, those movements. See, this one is, this is really cool because there's only two of them. So they're isolated and exposed. When you're doing this, the, the synchronization is going to be very, very important in this part. Like when they turn over to, to, uh, to go sit down um, and having the same level um, when you travel forward. Because the tendency could be that one person would be a little bit earlier, like a hair. And it will be enough to show because there's only two of them. But, you know, of course, they nailed it here. Let's travel. Boom. Right? And there's a, I think there's a beat there that really makes them mark that point where they actually turn, which does help for the timing. Um, this one, um, Joe is just slightly higher than, just slightly, uh, I think that's Harua. He's just slightly taller, right? He He's much taller than Harua. So that makes sense because no matter how low Joe would go down on that, his torso is a lot longer than Harua's. So that's why it's a little uneven. But like the pace was pretty much the same. Beautiful. I love that. Oh my god, that's a team effort for sure. Um, no one can get lazy because that sharpness, boom, boom. The establishment needs to be so timely all throughout, the, like, you know, from one end to another. And that's hard almost to do because um, one end can, a little bit, can be a little bit faster than another. Um, and of course, maybe like the, the head is lower or like just slightly up. It's a muscle memory thing. It's like, how do you even kind of um, level that, right? So what normally would happen is like, if you're facing the mirror, then you like look at yourself, you know, you twist your head to the mirror and see how low your your body, your chest, your head, your neck that needs to go or how high you need to adjust. And then once you get it leveled, you face down and then you put that in your, in your muscle memory to make, to uh to remember how that feels so that you can get to that state without having to look in the mirror so that you can get even it's it's a lot of practice huge kudos to them it's just a lot of details you know and then it goes into this like hard um hard hitting the powerful i love the angles too of their bodies here you know like just so nice it's all the same <laughs> That's so cool that like, um, I feel like that's one of their signature moves when they go, cause they do kind of this like di um, domino effect going down. I've seen it in some of their, in a lot of their um, choreographies. Um, and I, I, it's so beautiful whenever they do that because it's just so clean. I think as much, so, Okay, so as much as I really, really, really like how they attack the domino effect in that, like when they were down, like this was so clean. That I feel like maybe it was better, like on the side, that domino effect, um, the arms, the. Um, when you slow it down, they do hit it at the same spot. Why was it like, boom, there's an establishment there. It's just, I feel like it could be tighter, that that image. I'm being very, very picky here because they're immaculate dancers. You guys know how much I love their dancing. I think they're one of the strongest dancers in K, in <laughs> K-pop, J-pop. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Um, regardless of where they are, um, I think they're one of the strongest dancers.
So, like, when I see these kind of details, it sticks out so much because I'm not familiarized with that with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I would just tighten that up, like, just a hair. It's like a hair more and it's, like, perfect. So, you know what? I'll just let it go. It's just me. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Now I know why it's slightly not together. A hair. It's the way they move up their arms. Some people... <laughs> what? Revelation. Uh, some people go up this way. The arms. But some people go up this way. Um, okay. Let me see if I can... Watch some people... Are like going upwards like that. But, um... Is this Yuma in the blonde? Um... Do you guys see his hand went from, uh, okay. So when you slow it down, you know, some are go up and then his went from the side. Also, Fuma too goes from the side. So Fuma and Yuma, they both go from the side, but the other guys, they go from the front. Right? Like, it's just like that. Let's see Maki. So it's like it's all like the hands are already kind of facing forward. Boom, this way, right? Keep that in mind. And then you have yeah, Fuma and Yuma sideways. Um, and then they establish that imagery. Okay, that makes so much more sense to me now. Why I was like there was something a little bit different there. Um, again, I apologize if I point these shit out. I'm so sorry. It's just because, like, these details, um, it's, it, it's, it's prominent because they're always synchronized, you know? So when something like this happens, it's like, okay, there's something a little bit kind of off about it. Um, it's just me. It's just me, really. It's nothing against them. It's just really me. <laughs> um, but, and it's a very short moment in the choreo. But, um, Yeah. So with that, I would just establish where the arms is coming from. Is it coming from the front or is it coming from the side? I would just establish that because that is an important imagery because we're going into the chorus. You know what I mean? And it's an effect too, the way that domino effect happens. Nonetheless, powerful, of course. And then going into this like kick is like so impressive how they can like turn and kick at the same time and at the same level. So it's just getting that muscle memory, how high you need to kick. Because some people would be like, you know, a little bit higher than another. But like them, just getting it so even is so impressive. I also really like that slight slowness before they go turn and kick. There's a peaceful moment. Like I'm seeing it on Harua, you know, like, like, like when he kind of goes like this a little bit, you know, prepares for that. There's just a peacefulness to, to that stance. And then going into this. Just beautiful. Oh my god. When you, when you like repeat it so many times, it's so satisfying. Wow. Just the coordination. Synchronization, this thing, the oh my god, because of also their long ass legs, <laughs> um, is just that reach. Oh my god, is beautiful. Like with the heads, wow. Like boom. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at Joe at the back there with like going like this. Oh my god. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, I love that. How that's just, like different, um. Uh, directions when they do this part yeah like some are like this some are like that wow okay at the back um actually this is i i feel like in in a lot of their choreographies before k is so dead on center front every single time and I feel like in this kind of choreo, in this song, I feel like uh, a lot more uh, people are highlighted in the front and center. Um, but, you know, of course, like, Kay is an amazing dancer. Like, even though he's at the back, he does make an impact still. Um, like, with the like the torso, with, like, you know, when, when he goes like this, just beautiful.
Yeah, I like that they have our breath because that was an insane chorus. It's so athletic the way they move. Um, and then here you have a little bit more of a, you know, chill moment. So you can catch a breath there. But it's still, you know, it's not lazy or anything. It's still structured. Like that, like, boom, boom. With the chest. With the, against the music. Boom, boom, right? Beautiful. Beautiful imagery. They're so expressive. Wow. So this is kind of derived from the intro, the way they're doing this. With, you know, when I said earlier that, like, the foot or the feet went up, I feel like this is kind of like a similar execution from that intro. Beautiful. Yeah, I love these like little emphasis when they when they just move. Like they don't have to do that, but they do because there's a powerful aspect to that. I bet you I, they just love their choreographies. I bet you they love their choreographies. Cause they're so good. The choreographies are really like intense and very satisfying to dance as a dancer. Like, you know, some choreographies, it's like, you know, you, you for some K-pop groups out there, you know, you do such a hard training. You know, you learn all these like, in, like hard, complicated choreographies and then you debut and it's like, you know, TikTok level type of uh, choreography. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just like, it's it makes you wonder, like, why did I have to go such rigorous training when our concept um, after debut is just like, easier choreo i get the whole like like you need to be really really good in order to debut but it's just like it makes you wonder um as a as the actual member or as a dancer it's like um when will i get to do what i trained for but like for example like and team they've had such extensive training and you know beginnings and they're able to apply what they've learned in training into the real world you know what i mean um, it's like, you know, for example, you do, you learn calculus or like pre-cal in high school, you go, you learn all these like trig trigonometry and, and calculations and all that. And then you go out into the real world and you don't, you go to a, a job, it was a prerequisite for, and then you don't actually get to use pre-cal or calculus. It's the same idea. You know, it's like, why did I have to learn those if this is what I'm going to do in the real world? So same thing with the dance, um, but yeah, with with N team, they're using that calculus for real. <laughs> that knee down too, like, do they just like fall on their knees? Boom, nice. So I was gonna be afraid for them, but it's delicate enough. There's control there, so they don't break their knees. Because sometimes those knee drops, I'd be scared to do. Oh wait, did I already pass um, K's solo? I did. Sorry about that. Uh, I want to see it. Beautiful. Just as perfect as it was in the music video, you know, it's just, it's a double turn. Um, I I was hoping that he would do like that kind of contemporary style as well, like in the, at the end of that. But I get it. It needs to go to the, to the next part. Into here. Like, imagine having to do that move like so many times. Your cardio level is insane at this point. Your heart rate is going. So synchronized. Oh my god. So satisfying. Boom. And then when they go up like that, it's just all the same. Same energy. Taki's like, when they do those kind of fluid movements, I'm just like, oh my god. Like, what, right? Beautiful.
nice domino effect there. So that's a like, that's another muscle memory thing, the musicality aspect. Because like, how do you even see that it's your turn for that domino effect? You know, you're not looking at the other people. It's just like you're really go going by the music. You know what I mean? That's the musicality right there. Because you don't know, you don't see. Sometimes the domino effects, you will see when it's your turn to go because you're kind of you feel it when it's going. But like when you're like looking at the ceiling, when it's like when do I move up my my feet? So musicality, just really listening to the music. Beautiful. Damn. The amount, yeah, the amount of times they go up and down is insane. Um, and it's like what I said earlier, it's just like the stamina, you know, and, and having that control. Boom, boom. Aww. Beautiful. That's a good song. Yeah, they sound amazing. The dances group really good. And the music video is just beautiful. It's a, such a beautiful comeback. I can't wait to see that on award shows because that's going to slay. I can already imagine how beautiful like the costumes are and stuff, right? Um, I will check out one of their stages, like, because I do uh, react to, like, a stage um, on Patreon because they do get blocked here. I can't wait to see it with the costumes and stuff. All right, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure to take that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, I do have an Instagram. Link is down below.